The first ski school in the area was started by Herman's father in 1902. He could remember when skis were brought into the village for the first time by an eccentric Englishman in 1881. He would put them on in his hotel bedroom, then clatter down the stairs to his three waiting guides, one to point him in the right direction, another with a shovel to fill in the holes he made in the snow when he fell, and the third to brush the snow off his tweeds. By the turn of the century, skiers were a regular sight in the little town, most of them British. Herman himself started skiing at a very early age, on skis made from the staves of an old barrel. Later, he had them made specially for him by the local carpenter. When he was old enough, he became a ski instructor. This vintage film shows him with his ski class teaching techniques which are little different from those taught today. There were no quick-release bindings in those days, so an awkward fall often meant a broken ski. Nowadays, with indestructible plastic skis and modern bindings, the weak point, unfortunately, seems to be the human leg. For competition, it was necessary to be an all-rounder. Each competitor had to be proficient at downhill, slalom and ski jumping. Races had far more casualties than they do today. The courses were unmarked and all the competitors started together, trying to find their own fastest way to the finish. The worst race Hermann can remember was the World Championships in Innsbruck in 1936, when the course was very icy and studded with tree stumps. It made skiing history, since the casualties among the spectators were almost as many as among those who took part in the race itself. Of the 54 racers, 17 were too seriously injured to finish, and of those who did, a large number were cut, bruised and concussed. Herman hit a tree soon after the start, dislocated his shoulder and knocked himself out. When he came round, he managed to ski on down and still finish high in the lineup. 